because I think uh, fashion is an artistic way of expressing yourself much more like it can be either on makeup, it can be either on clothes or it can be on uh, uh, jewelry and so on. Well, I think the fashion industry is growing more and more bigger. Like, you have so many <coughs> um, subsections which it can divide, be divided into street style, casual style, sport style, the classic one, the luxurious one, and so on. So I think that goes much more like um, like designers to compete each other, I guess. I don't call myself much more like a fashion victim. Because usually when I buy stuff, when I like it at the fitting room, it's just like, and then I go around and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna really gonna wear this. But if I had the money, I think I would be slave to fashion too. <laughs> well, uh, that's a really good question because I kind of helped Sami with his projects and some collections, and I really got some. Um, proposals, uh, but I think it will be lit and dope if you can be a fashion model, but I think it needs really hard work and really um, to be, how to say it, to be really into it, not just do it for a hobby, but actually you really want it. So, and you need to invest time, of course looks, and a lot, a lot of sweat, I guess. things about fashion. I cannot really think of any, but I would like to consider that fashion is dichronical. It's actually basically repeats itself. Like uh, you can have stuff that they used to wear in the 70s and now it's just like the fashion trend. So basically it's not um, it's not creating something new, it's like it's innovating itself more and more. That's so subjective, I would say, because we all consider ourselves beautiful even if we're ugly. But um, I don't think fashion is just for beautiful people. As I said in the beginning, it's a way of expressing yourself in the way what you like to be, what you like to wear, or what you would you wish to be. So, no, I think that's really subjective. person who follows the crowd, I just like to pop up, like, like, oh, like when you're gonna walk into the club or bar or somewhere even on your work, like, they'll be like, damn, her shoes are lit, or like, you know, just to make an impression, but not really for the attention of the people, because usually, you know, people get confused, they're like, oh, she wants to drag attention, she's wearing like, I don't know, like the pink, uh, pink high heels or something. Designer fashion. It's expensive, first of all. But um, if I had the chance, which means probably if I have a sugar daddy or I'm really pushed up with my career, I think I'll wear designer clothes, of course, because it's something unique and you actually, the designer actually put effort into creating what you're gonna wear. Street fashion is something really cool because it combines something of casual and actually not too simple. Uh, it can have so many perspectives because I think street can mean different, they have different definitions to each other, one of us. So I think like street fashion is the shit these days. Okay, first of all, I, I'm in love with shoes. Like, down at my place in Greece, I have like more than 50 pairs of, of high heels, mostly. Um, 
I would say I'm not so much into makeup because I believe in natural beauty, not so natural. We need our mascara and our shape just like to cover stuff, <laughs> to cover our things. Um, jewelry, it's nice to have a ring or two or earrings, but I think I'm more into clothes but most more, more, more into shoes. Well, the first person I would say is my brother because uh, he really follows fashion in a meaning like he can pay a crazy amount because he saw jeans that nobody wears and uh, he actually follows trends. Um, another fashion person I would say is Sammy. He's doing his thing. He really likes some dope stuff, which actual people cannot wear outside. So yeah, these are the two people outside. Hell no. Why? Because, come on, dude. We're gonna go on a date, and you're gonna come with your fucking flip flop and just like a tank top. Like, to take me where? To Kalsa? <laughs> no. Ah, so no. That's enough. Okay, my favorite fashion designer is the one and only Alexander McQueen. He's a god for me. Um, then I would go to Donatella. And uh, a little bit of Zach Posen, but mostly I like Alexander McQueen because his things are, you know, are not weird, I would say unique. I would, <laughs> right now, I would say it's affordable. <laughs> if it's affordable, like, yeah. Um, but, simple. Uh, eccentric, but simple. What do you think of Tanko Cane Temples mean? Tanko Cane Temples. combination uptown I would say crowded like you know when you have a sneaky ass person in the background and he's shadowing himself and then like people moving around cocaine I would say for something uh, that can take you to other places like ecstatic Temples where is something we would like to pray for.